Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, we had the chance to test drive the 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid. And so we're going to pop the hood here in the garage, have a good look under there, and do a sort of overview tour outlining all the technical features as well as the maintenance service points. The 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid we tested features an all new fourth generation two motor hybrid powertrain with 204 horsepower and up to 247 pound feet of torque. In our all wheel drive test vehicle, it's rated by the EPA at 40 miles per gallon city, 34 miles per gallon highway, and 37 miles per gallon combined. The powertrain is comprised of an all aluminum two liter Atkinson cycle four cylinder engine with direct fuel injection and variable cam timing. It's mated to a new hybrid drive system with larger and more powerful electric motors now mounted side by side in the assembly. The new traction motor itself offers up to 181 horsepower, which affords the CRV hybrid strong electric only operation. The gasoline engine features an electric water pump and the air conditioning compressor is powered by the high voltage battery, which is located under the rear cargo floor inside the passenger compartment. As the generator motor in the transmission takes care of all of the charging of the battery, this means there are no belt driven accessories on the engine. Thermal efficiency and low emissions are also major features of this engine, which has a cooled exhaust gas recirculation system clearly visible at the front. There's also a low temperature active catalyst with a low level of noble metals that drops the NOx emissions by 24% and total hydrocarbon emissions by 22% giving CRB hybrids an LEV3 Sulev 30 rating. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the front of the engine compartment at the top of the radiator, then travels through an ornate intake plenum mounted atop of the hybrid transmission and control unit. From there, it travels down into a compact air filter box at the rear of the engine compartment, and then into a composite plastic intake manifold at the rear of the engine. Stepping back and looking over the top, all four spark plug coil packs are easily seen and accessed with the foam sound cover removed. It just snaps right off. Much of the direct fuel injection, however, is hidden from view. Once the combustion process is complete, exhaust gas exits through an integral exhaust manifold built into the head and directly into the aforementioned catalyst system at the front side of the engine. Servicing the CRV hybrid in DIY maintenance is pretty straightforward. The air filter at the rear of the engine does take some effort to get into, but can be changed with common tools in about 15 minutes. The oil filler cap is located at the top of the engine on the passenger side, the bright yellow dipstick just ahead of it in plain view. The oil filter is only reachable from below though. Checking and topping off the main engine coolant reservoir can be done nearby the oil dipstick at the passenger side of the engine compartment. Windshield washer fluid is located up near the top passenger side of the fender well. Now this is something different. Brake fluid is topped off and checked at the passenger side rear of the engine compartment. It's a unique location from most as the entire equipment package for the drive-by-wire brake system is located on the passenger side of the engine compartment. Where you might normally expect to find the brake fluid instead is a coolant tank for the hybrid control drive system. The main 12 volt battery is located just ahead of that at the front of the engine bay. The engine control unit just next to it. Further back to the right is a sizable fuse box which is openable with a couple of tabs. A fuse removal tool can be found provided inside. As with all hybrid cars, do avoid mishandling the orange high voltage wiring as it carries enough voltage to injure you or even cause death if the right conditions exist. Most of the components aren't user serviceable anyway. Additionally, looking forward, you can see the electric cooling fan behind the radiator. Always be mindful that this can start at any time if the vehicle's been driven and warm, even if it's turned off. So watch your hands. Well, there you have it, my friends, the underhood tour of the 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid, the new fourth generation hybrid powertrain. Now, we have a full test drive on this vehicle. You can see that right there on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. You can also subscribe to TV TV Garage right there if you like our nuts and bolts stuff.